Oh, wow, I think I should use one of these already. You do this in first person, which some would argue is easier. I guess it's, I suppose it's a little easier to aim like this. We'll never make it! Okay, Snake, let's go! This is good, good progress, good progress. Come on. I don't know why she can't just keep driving. You did it, Snake! I don't know why I have to shoot them all. She's so bloodthirsty. This was a bit ridiculous. Not yet, Snake! It's not over yet! Liquid! How did he not just break every bone in his body? I'll never know. This bit's certainly easier to do in first person. I guess. easier than this anyway, I think. You can't really see, I mean, well, no, I got lucky there, but you can't really see where you're aiming properly. Because of the weird camera angles. Again with the weird camera angles. You just kind of spray, but that's it. Oh, come on, I got him then. There we go. And again. Nicely does it. Okay, now I'm set just trading shots. This is it! This is the end! Shook up. Meryl, can you move? Uh, uh, it's no good. I can't move. What happened to Liquid? I can't see him either. Liquid's dead. Uh-oh. Snake! Now nah, here he just looks drunk as hell. <laughs> like he just downed a bottle of whiskey in the crash. He's dead, that means... 
Don't say it, Snake. What happened to the air raid? No stealth bombers in sight. Snake, can you hear me? Colonel, are you okay? Colonel, what happened? The Secretary of Defense has been arrested. Early retirement. Arrested? I was able to get into contact with the President. Metal Gear, the training exercise, all of it. It was all the Secretary of Defense acting alone. Acting alone? What happened to the air raid and the nuclear strike? The orders were rescinded. The F-117s and the B-2 Spirits have returned to the base. Once again, I have complete authority over this operation. I see. Washington isn't stupid enough to use nukes to cover up a few secrets. I wonder about that. In any case, the danger's over. Thanks, Snake. Colonel, you can rest easy. Merrill's fine. Really? Thanks. Thank you, Snake. Snake, I'm sorry. I, I kept a lot of things from you. It's okay, Colonel. Snake, I'm not a Colonel. <laughs> oh, that's right. I've got a present for you. There's a snowmobile close to you. Mei Ling saw it on the satellite photos. This time of year, the glaciers are pretty calm. You should be able to ride right out of there. I'll bet the boys at the DIA and the NSA never expect you to come home alive. Me neither. I better not show my face around here. No danger of that. You two officially died after your jeep sank into the ocean. That's not too far from the truth. Also, there's a helicopter waiting for you on Fox Island. Dr. Hal Emmerich should be somewhere on the base. I want someone to bring him in. I understand. Leave it to me. Okay, Roy. Are you gonna be okay? Don't worry. I've got an insurance policy. A hard copy of all Mei Ling's data. As long as I've got that, you, me, and Mei Ling will be fine. The battery on these nanomachines will run out soon. They won't be able to follow us. I guess we won't meet again. Don't worry. I'll pay you a visit sometime. Really? I'll look forward to that. Roy, just tell me one thing. What? About Fox Die. Meryl will be fine. She wasn't included in its programming. What about me? It killed Liquid. Naomi said that she wants to talk to you face to face about that. How is she? Don't worry. Mei Ling is with her right now. I'm switching over to Naomi. Snake, it's me. Naomi. I heard about my brother. I'm sorry. But he had one last message he wanted to say to you. He told me to tell you to forget about him and to go on with your own life. Frankie said that? Yeah. He also said he'll always love you. Naomi, your brother just saved you, me, and the whole world. He fought with every ounce of strength in his body. Maybe... Maybe now he's finally found some peace. He wasn't really my brother anymore. Ever since he fought with you in Zanzibar, he's been like a ghost. A ghost looking for a place to die. <laughs> Naomi, Liquid died from Fox Die too. What about me? When am I gonna go? That's up to you. What do you mean? Everybody dies when their time is up. Yeah, so when's mine up? It's up to you how you use the time left to you. Live, Snake. It's all I can say to you. Each person is born with their fate written into their own genetic code. It's unchangeable, immutable. But that's not all there is to life. I finally realized that. I told you before the reason that I was interested in genes and DNA. 
Because I wanted to know who I was. Where I came from. I thought that if I analyzed my DNA, I could find out who I was. Who my parents were. And I thought that if I knew that, then I'd know what path I should take in life. But I was wrong. I didn't find anything. I didn't learn anything. Just like with the genome soldiers, you can input all the genetic information, but that doesn't make them into the strongest soldiers. The most we can say about DNA is that it governs a person's potential strengths, potential destiny. You mustn't allow yourself to be chained to fate, to be ruled by your genes. Humans can choose the type of life they want to live, Snake, whether or not you're in the Fox Die program isn't important. The important thing is that you choose life. And then live. Don't you think, Snake? Don't worry. I'm going to choose life too. Until today, I've always looked for a reason to live. But from here on, I'm going to just live. Genes exist to pass down our hopes and dreams for the future through our children. Living is a link to the future. That's how all life works. Loving each other, teaching each other. That's how we can change the world. I finally realized it. The true meaning of life. Thank you, Snake.